he, he's written recently. Joe Newberry lives in, in Raleigh, and he's a uh, folk singer and a singer-songwriter. And this is, this is called uh, I Know Whose Touch. Okay. It's about, about mothers. If I were hung on the highest hill, if I were hung on the highest hill, harmonicas 
but they're all hooked together with little levers and things. And then here you've got the black keys as well as the white keys. Now this, this is made. What is this? Is this plastic? Uh, yeah, it's a type of early plastic, and it looks looks like shells or something, but it's really just just plastic. And then this has got little rhinestone inlays. That's your in name it. on it, isn't it, Hana? Uh, no, no. Uh, the Honer Company. It's actually it's a German company that has made accordions for probably a hundred years or so. Do they still make them? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, at the accordions that I've seen um, are usually larger than that. Yeah, there are larger accordions. Um, I find this to be. That's very heavy. Um, well, it's, it's lighter than some other ones. <laughs> so that, that 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 weighs about 50 pounds, doesn't it? Oh, no, 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 no. Not anything like mm -hmm. that. I have a much larger accordion that weighs about 25 pounds, and this one weighs maybe maybe half of that. So it's very handy. It's fun to take to picnics, uh, campouts, stuff like that. Now, do you have any notion of giving lessons to people so that you can preserve this art that's really almost a dying art. Yeah, we can refer people to teachers. I'm really not a qualified instructor for the accordion, but there are several in uh, in the Charlotte area, and uh, also the Folk Society has instrument lending libraries. So you can go to the instrument lending library and you can check out an accordion, you can check out a banjo, you can check out a guitar. A lot of these instruments, it takes a certain deposit of money, but it's not a great deposit. And a lot of people starting out start with folk society instruments just on loans. Well, if they, if they go and borrow the instrument and they don't know how to play it, there's no way to teach them to play it, then they may just damage the instrument. It hasn't really happened. Uh, we've had we've had good results uh, with the people that we've had. They'll usually work either with a parent or a, an instructor that will help them take care of the instrument. Well, um, Alan Davis, I want to thank you so much for sharing, and um, we're going to come back so that you can play.